something very profound in the way we are structured or made by nature or designed. And it's not just like a fantasy, it's really just like the planet that has you know, a rod of magnetism or a magnet in the center and a magnetic field around it. The human body is the same. And this is the ancient understanding of Tantra, that each individual has within themselves like a magnet with a positive pole and a minus pole. And between those two poles is what we can call, you know, a, a rod of magnetism or a flow of energy. And it's when we start to connect with this inner magnet that each person carries, then we start to become more aware of this subtle channel in the body and also, you know, the very fine, subtle, ecstatic energies that is carried uh, through this channel. So, but as long as we in our program and want other things from sex, this basic intelligence that we are born with um, does not come to, to light. In fact, every single human being who is born on the planet, we can say is born tantric. It's not like something I choose. It's something I am. Now, because of no information or, you know, strong conditioning, we, we, we turn in a, another direction. Um, so it's a matter of just turning back and turning in and accessing what is already there. Now, what is interesting about the polarity is that the male magnet and the female magnet, they are not the same. And this is something very important because we have the tendency to think that men and women are the same. Um, and we go into sex in a very similar way. But in fact, you know, man and woman, they are equal equal forces, but completely opposite forces. So in that sense, we can say that man in his totality is a dynamic force, and woman in her totality is a receptive force. So it's a play of magnetism between dynamic and receptive. Um, how the male magnet differs from the female magnet is that we can call one of the poles a plus pole, an energy-raising pole, and in women that is the breasts. and um, for the men, it's equal and opposite. So it's in the perineum, like at the base of the penis, and that's the male energy raising pole. So in fact, woman's energy raising pole is not the vagina, not the clitoris, it's in fact her breast. So we have this possibility then for a circular movement of energy between the bodies and also a circle within the bodies. So for women, what is very helpful is to start to um, bring more awareness into the breasts. It's, it's not about stimulation. It's about entering that part of your body. And for man, you know, also to bring his attention really into what we can call the root of the penis, um, the perineum. And when we start to anchor ourselves and, and bring awareness into these energy raising poles, then things start to move. Um, on a much more subtle and fine level. And the thing is, is that it's not exciting, but it is so nourishing and so fulfilling and kind of something we've been longing for, but never really known how to get it. So, you know, that is really the value of, of changing the way one makes love because one starts to feel so differently about oneself. You start to feel so differently about your partner and you start to experience this true nourishment and fulfillment in sex that, that really makes life um, more valuable, more interesting, more worth living. And sometimes people say to me, you know, wow, it looks like a big job. And it's like, no, you know, we make love anyway. The beauty about making love is you're in bed, you're lying down. So it's no big deal. And then we just start slowly, slowly to, to bring in more awareness. And it's an adventure, it's not a job. It's like suddenly opening up a whole new door or a dimension no, in your life that, that you can just become a completely more fulfilled person, a more self-contained person, a more aware in the body person. And um, it's so fascinating. Well, I know that my life changed completely and I was not, I had no goal when I entered this. I was early 30s. And there was just this thing, well, I like sex. Actually, I like it very much, but there must be more. And so that was my only little track was like, what's more? And as I found out tiny little things, I was going, whoa, 
I feel a lot better. You know, that just makes me feel better as a person, better as a woman. Eventually you are sitting in a kind of another life. And so it is extraordinary to, to know that through changing the way you make love, you can change your life. <laughs>